Hello everyone and welcome back to Westeros Craft Walks. I'm your host Kobe. And I'm Lucia. And today uh, we are actually starting at the same place that we started last time at this uh, lumber mill. Uh, but this time we are gonna follow the road north. Uh, and that will lead us to House Hay Hayford of Hayford. So uh, yeah, there you see the man's. It's, it's kind of this little bit is uh, kind of the same as last time, but over there you can already see I pre-rendered the castle of Hayford. So that's where we went last time, um, but now we are going north. So House Hayford is actually only less than a day's ride from King's Landing. So they're sworn directly to the Iron Throne rather than, um, you know, sometimes you see with lesser houses like the in the Dreadfort, the Boltons, they're sworn to the Starks, who are then in turn sworn to the Iron Throne. But here they're so close. They're like, what's, what's the point? We go straight to you. Mm -hmm. Straight to straight to the King King's Landing King mm -hmm. Throne. So yeah, we can uh, have a look at uh, some little houses. Um, it's also next to the next to the river that flows from the God's Eye into the black water. Um, and you see throughout there there are some streams throughout the lands that flow into that river as well. That's not a very practical thing if you're just walking. Yeah, I guess not. But you can like it's not too deep, so you can and you just get wet it. wet little booties. Yeah, I guess so. Over there you can already see uh a little closer look of the castle. You can see it's made of the same um, red bricks as King's Landing. Um, and we, I think, oh yeah, we're gonna have a look at uh, here in uh, in these little houses. They, they have a nice little forest path here as well. And uh, that will lead us to another brick maker. They've got quite a few of them around here. Well, I imagine just like maintaining the castle walls alone would probably require a lot of bricks. Mm. Oh yeah, and uh, also the sigil of House Hayford. It, it's too complicated to describe, so I'll just put it on screen right now. It's a bit weird. Yeah. Well, it's not the weirdest I've seen, but I'm like, why is, is it meant to be a river? There's a lot going on. Why it, is it, it looks, green? It looks like a green river. Uh, but yeah, here is the... We are next to the river, and here is the another clay pit. And uh, there we can see a smaller scale as well of, uh, of brick making. I'll have a closer look there. Yeah, so um, this is kind of this, the same process as uh, the big brick makers that we saw in the last episode. You can see some some ready-made bricks under the shade. They don't really have the many buildings, just like sheds. Well, I mean, if you think about it as well, I was thinking about it on the on the walk over, if you will. That it's not just the keep and the walls that are made out of that stone, but it's also the city watch. Their buildings are made out of that brick as well. So I guess as the town grows, they might want to add some more city watch buildings in or expand or repair. So they're always going to need more bricks. But this house in particular has a, a bit of history with being murdered. Which is unfortunate, I guess you could say. And the first example of this is back at the time of King Maegor the First Targaryen and Prince Jaehaerys when there was the kind of argument of succession, um, but more in particular, people wanted Jaehaerys to take over and it got a little messy for this house. So Lord Hayford stood by the side of King Maegor and he was one of his supporters but after he saw that things weren't going his way, he urged the king to abdicate the Iron Throne. So Maegor the Cruel, if his name doesn't tell you already, he beheaded him and put his head on a spike. Mm -hmm. And he was, he was one of the last few lords that would support him and then Maegor does that to him. Very not nice. Yeah. But yeah, we've reached the castle. Um, it, it's a smaller castle. Someone in the comments said they like to see smaller castles, I guess. Uh, there, there's quite a few of them around King's Landing. Might see... Uh, yeah, the next episode will probably be a smaller keep as well. I, mean, I like smaller castles, it just means smaller episodes. Yeah. And then also, it, some, sometimes it's a little tricky to talk about because they don't have that much information. Or like this house, they do have a lot of pre-Game of Thrones information, but then in the actual books, 
the house isn't is only mentioned after Game of Thrones. After the first book. So it's 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 one of those tricky things where it's like I have some, but then most of it I can't talk about. Because mm-hmm. as you might remember, the the server is set at the end of book one or season one, so we tend not to give any spoilers past that. Yeah, we um, might occasionally talk about maybe like the very beginning of the second, second book. Yeah. So like for instance, one thing with this house that happens in the second book is the current reigning lord, well, I guess you'd say lady, whose name I can't pronounce, is a baby. Last yeah. of her name, so this house is not doing great. Yeah. But Copa can say her name, I uh, think. Is it? I'll try I'll have give I, it a shot. I don't know, it's a little tricky. Where is it? Oh. Um, um, er, Ermissande. Yeah. It doesn't really sound like a Westerosi name. E R M E S A N D E. Ermissande. You have a little uh, battle pit here as well. And together with the blacksmith, I believe. Yeah. It's kind of back together. Um, but yeah, as Uchiha said, it, it's a quite a small house, but there is a lot of history behind it. Uh, so the second bit was at the beginning of the Dance of Dragons, the Lord of Hayfort at the time was also executed in King's Landing. This time it was for refusing to renounce his oaths to Rhaenyra Targaryen in favour of Aegon II. So um, yeah, Lord Hayfort was sworn to Rhaenyra, but when they wanted him to swear, like, to drop that out and go for Aegon instead. Uh uh, sister. Yeah, uh uh-uh. uh, Lord Hayford said, No, I'm not an oathbreaker, and then he got his head chopped off. Woman power. So bizarre. I guess I guess they are quite loyal, but. Even if it kills them. Yeah. You want to talk about the next bit of history? Who's dying this time, eh? <laughs> I don't think anyone's dying this time. Oh no, I guess allegedly killed someone. Yes, uh- Yeah. If there's there's not those such thing as a hated story that doesn't involve someone's death, but aren't. So the next one comes from Lyra Hayford, which is which who who was a possible marriage candidate for King Aegon III in the Maiden's Day Cattle Show, which sounds like a really great day out for the lads. Yeah, that that one was it's an unofficial name. It was named that by Mushroom, like which was a, a dwarf and, and a jester, a fool of the court. So. Yeah, they were trying to get a um, a bride. So they gathered up all the different women and kind of, yeah, showed them up how you have like a cow show where it's like, in the mm. ring, number four is, 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 this is Lady Hayford. She has nice boobs. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what guys look like. But what, what rumors were spread about her, Lucia? But lo- Lord Unwin Peak spread rumors because he was jealous that she smothered the her infant brother. So... The reason that he did this is because his daughter was also in the cattle show and he kind of wanted to disregard her and boost up his own daughter, which, I mean, come on, like, I can kind of see where he's coming from, but that's mean. Yeah. Or maybe she did, I don't know. Yeah, there's, it could there's, be, yeah. there's one of those things, there's no way to know if it's true or false, so. Yeah. We found a Rookery Lucia, but it's not the end of the episode. Um, but yeah, we've reached the top of the of the wall, and it's just as the sun is setting, so we'll get a nice view of the surrounding lands as well. Um, but yeah, we can uh, can have a little look around here. But yeah, around here you can also see like the the smaller creeks and rivers that uh, feed into that river we we started at. Nice, nice view. With the sunset, right? Mm-hmm. I think over there in the distance, you can kind of see that big river. Uh, but yeah, they they got a lot of uh, fields surrounding it as well. Well, probably for King's Landing, uh, feeding all those people must be hard. So yeah, they're, they've got like quite a lot of fields around here. But yeah, we we found a little bed, and it's the, morning the again. Bed. Yeah, the, I was looking in the main keep, but the, uh, there were not beds I could sleep in. They were like covered by the canopies, and I couldn't go inside. So. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's morning. We are gonna uh, the little bell there. We're gonna go down and um, 
have a little look at uh, at the audience chamber as well of the of the baby yeah. audience chamber of the baby but surely there must be someone who's kind of um, stepped yeah in. like a regent yeah and uh, here's uh, where the baby does all the admin um, okay so yeah that was it that was it for <laughs> that, was <fun>. <laughs> that was it for uh, thank you thanks by the way thanks um, that was it for the castle but uh, we still have some surrounding lands to to explore uh, we're gonna run in the fields and stuff that's pretty much all that's here at the moment uh, but yeah we will end up at like a, a nice uh, vantage tower as well which uh, gives us a nice view of the surrounding lands as well but if you think about it with the lo uh, this lady baby so I can't say her name I will call her lady baby She's the last of her name, but she's also a woman, so if she gets married, I can't imagine any lord that married her would take her name. She would have to take his name, so mm. in theory the house is kind of dying. Well, gonna die. It's yeah. dead. And something like that happens in the later books, but I guess I won't go that far into it. Rest yeah. in peace. Well, I mean, I guess that's they can just grow a bunch of hay to remember the good old days. Mm. Hay for the days! Hey for the days. Oh yeah, I guess we still have some history left, right? Is Who dies this time, yeah. eh? Oh, this time it's during the the first Blackfire Rebellion. Uh, Lord Hayfort was a loyalist again, staying true to the king as always. Um, is it gonna take his head? I, I don't know. Let's let's find out. Um, so he was named uh, Hand of the King to Daron the Second. Oh yeah, he died. Yeah, but, no, Devon was nice, I guess. But doesn't he die? Yeah, but uh, Spoiler spoilers, alert. <laughs> spoilers for the next sentence. <laughs> so yeah, he was uh, Lord Hayford was named Hand of the King to Darren the Second Targaryen just before the Battle of the Red Cross Field, in which they faced off against uh, Darren's half brother, which was the the leading like Blackfire guy. Blackfire boys. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so he was named Hand of the King just before the battle, and um, yeah, it turned uh. out that uh, the battle um, kind of got him killed as well, so he wasn't Hand for long. Um, also, uh, Sir Arlen of Pen Sir Arlen of Pennytree, which you might know if you've read the Duncan Egg stories. Is that where Pennywise comes from? No, it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, so Sir Arlen of Pennytree uh, served him during this uh, rebellion as well. So that was it for the... Oh no, we actually have a story about uh, the second Blackfire Rebellion. Um, oh, it's just that uh, in the second Blackfire Rebellion, Hayfort came to support them as well. So still staying loyal. But yeah, we are at the end over here at this uh, little watch post, uh, which will give us a nice uh, we could, we view. could figure out how to get up. No, I, I was just looking around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this will give us a nice uh, view of the surrounding lands. Yeah. You got anything else to say before we leave Lucia? Or just a poll? Cuz uh, for We're the going next somewhere poll, else. Yeah, we got uh, we got two options. Over there We're you going can to the see tree. it. Uh, yeah. over, no, over there that little road, that's actually the King's Road Lucia, which can take us north if we want to. Uh, so that's one of the options. I'll I'll go fly up there. Oof. People people like me flying. I thought you were going to fall, I, was, I got my yeah. roof ready prematurely. <laughs> so yeah, this is the King's Road. Um, we can go up there, which is north. Um, but yeah, it's not loaded in yet. Uh, <gasps> that, that Immersion seems, broken! That seems the normal, uh, like the natural thing to do. But we can also, uh, a second option could be if we go back to where we started, if it wants so to load in. So we found the edge of the world. Yeah, if <laughs> it wants to load in. Um, over here we can cross this river as well and see what's on the other side. Yeah. So personally, I guess I guess if we go I north go to Dawn. Oh, I, I thought we wanted to go up north so we could reach White Harbor sometime. It's almost done. Yeah, probably by the time we get there if we stay going north, we'll get there. Oh no, we're going to go north forever now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like high garden. We're working on it, but it's not finished yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. On screen right now, you can find a playlist to the Westeros Croft, uh, well, playlist, I guess, link to the <laughs> playlist. Uh, and on screen as well, you can find a link to my personal channel in case you want to check that out as well. 
Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.